I've made it here to Budapest. He just invited me to his new coffee shop and gave me some coffee. It's a cluster of bars in the old Hungarian ruins. It's so cool just exploring everywhere here. I've made it here to Budapest. I will be here for five days and I'll be doing a hybrid of exploring the city and working Pacific time zones. And also this Airbnb is humongous. I'll give you a quick tour. This is the main living room, a different angle of the living room. This is where I'll be working from. If you walk up the stairs to the loft, this is where I'll be sleeping. The main hallway leading to the bathroom and the kitchen. This is where I'll do my business and my laundry. And a full kitchen that I will probably never use. Go, 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 go. It's supposed to serve really traditional dishes and I got a giant sausage right here with some fried mushrooms, cabbage, and mashed potatoes. I haven't eaten anything all day and everything looks really good so I'm really excited to dive in. The sausage here is a little different. It's definitely more lean and it's grainier but it's super flavorful. I'm gonna finish up here, maybe get a snack after and then head back to the Airbnb. Today, I'm going to be exploring the Buddha side of Budapest. I'm going to cross the river, go up the castle hills, and check out the views there. But first, I'm going to check out the central market. It's only a few blocks from my Airbnb, and it's a market where they sell produce, food, souvenirs, and all sorts of things. down Vasi Street, which is a pedestrian-only shopping street. Since it's so early, there's not many people here. And what I really like about Budapest so far is the architecture. It's very traditional European architecture, and it looks really pretty in the sunlight. Yesterday, there was some I'm gonna walk across the bridge to the Buddha side. Buddha Castle is literally a huge castle on top of a hill. The walls are really tall and it has a really good view of the entire city. I don't know if you can see, but that's the Hungarian parliament back there. Since I'm already up on the hill, I'm gonna go check out Fisherman's Bastion and Matthias Church. I just got lunch at the Hungarian Bistro and it was so so good. They serve traditional Hungarian food. I got the Horbayagi. I'm definitely butchering the name, but it's a crepe filled with chicken pate and covered with paprika sauce. I also got the goulash, of course. It comes with meat, potatoes, carrots, and mini dumplings. That was pretty good as well. I think I definitely like the crepe a little bit more. At the very end, they offer a shot on the house. It's Hungarian liquor, I think it's pear liquor. They only offer half a shot because it's pretty strong. It's 50% alcohol. So it's 1 p.m. I had half a shot and I'm ready to keep exploring. What's your name by the way? Uh, Alex. Alex. My name is Alex too. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. So nice to Alex you. Too. He just invited me to his new coffee shop uh, yeah. and gave me some coffee. It's just a new place. It was four years when it was closed. Oh wow. But yeah, it's a coffee shop since uh, 1902. So it's a really old place. One of the famous Hungarian uh, poetries wrote one uh, really famous poetry here. Oh wow. Too. Yeah. So this is a new place in uh, Hungary, in Budapest. Coffee is pretty good and the coffee shop is really nice. It's an old Hungarian building with really pretty interiors and there's a lot of space, lots of seating and really bright. Check it out if you're in Budapest. Now I'm gonna head to the Hungarian parliament. 
I'm not usually super big into these parliament and museums, but this one looks very different. It looks very grand. So I guess this will be my cultural experience of the trip. got lunch at this Israeli restaurant called Mazel Tov and it was delicious. First of all, the setting was really cool. It's in between two historical buildings and they built a glass roof on top. So it's kind of like a greenhouse. I got a cocktail. It was grapefruit Aperol spritz. For appetizers, I got the paprika cream with pita. The paprika cream is pretty sweet. Uh, it's creamy with cilantro and peanuts on top. And for the main, I got a pulled lamb. It was on top of polenta, fried onions, and some vegetables. Overall, it was a really good vibe and really good food and I would highly recommend it. I'm headed to the Shenzhenyi Thermal Baths. Apparently, this is a very common thing to do in Budapest, and this bath is one of the most popular ones. I'm trying to go in before 9 a.m. to get a discounted ticket. Pretty chilly outside, so I'm hoping that the water is warm and it'll be comfortable in the baths. The baths themselves are in a historical architecture complex. There are two outdoor baths, and both of them are heated. There are also different jets and waterfalls, so it acts like a kind of like an outdoor spa. Inside the building itself, there are multiple smaller pools. I hopped around the different pools and checked out the entire area, but I wouldn't say I'm super impressed by the baths. Even though the outdoor pool was heated, it still felt a little bit cold. When I go inside to the indoor pools, some of the water looked a little yellow. Overall, I will compare this to like a public swimming pool. I would say you're probably coming here for the vibes. I only stayed for about an hour, so I don't think it was super worth it, but definitely don't regret checking out the first time. Now I'm back in my Airbnb, all showered because I felt a little grimy in the public water. I'm gonna head out and get some lingos. Langos is pretty much a Hungarian deep fried pizza. The dough is deep fried and you can add all sorts of topping. I got the Budapest lingos, which has sour cream, cheese, ham, and Hungarian sausage. Pretty much the equivalent of a supreme pizza. It was really good, really crunchy, and very tasty, but definitely way too heavy to finish the whole thing. I'm in Simpla Kurtz. It's a cluster of bars in the old Hungarian ruins. All of these are old buildings and they converted each of the alcoves into an individual bar. And you can grab a drink and then pick a seat from anywhere in the area. It's so cool just exploring everywhere here. That's it for Budapest. I really like the city. I like the overall vibe of it and the food was pretty good too. And the great thing is that it's pretty cheap. I fly out tomorrow, so I will see you in the next one.